It's about that time in this overeager, underwhelming presidential race when you might be asking yourselves, who are you all? And why does Hillary Clinton look different? That is Republican candidate Carly Fiorina, the other woman. When it comes to the polls, the former Hewlett Packard CEO is creeping, kind of like a certain pontiff and a Kentucky clerk. Hmm? Fiorina is a former Senate candidate whose campaign strategist thought this attack ad was a good idea. Tom Campbell, is he what he tells us? Or is he what he's become over the years? A wolf in sheep's clothing. Carly, why'd you pay for that? What is that? And in case you haven't noticed, she is a she. Which is great, because somebody in the GOP clown cars got to ask for directions. Now, the map says we passed xenophobia 50 years ago, but we could have sworn that we saw signs for it up ahead. Throughout her career, Fiorina has taken a lot of heat for being a woman, recently from a constipated cherub who criticized her looks, to which Fiorina replied, I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. But hold the destiny's child. Fiorina is against the one American institution that is all about empowering women. And I'm not talking about Dove. No, she hates Planned Parenthood. And her magical realist description of the organization's fetal tissue donation made quite the impression. Watch a fully formed fetus on the table, its heart beating, its legs kicking while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. Yeah, that's made up. We, we now know the only thing being harvested for its brain is Governor Scott Walker. Nope, sir. Nothing here worth saving. Fun fact, Fiorina's maiden name is actually Sneed, which is coincidentally the sound her face makes after she makes shit up. Like when she was pressed about that Planned Parenthood scene, which doesn't exist. That scene absolutely does exist. Sneed. See? Well, let's focus on her politics. She opposes federally mandated maternity leave. She wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act. And she opposes a federal minimum wage in a platform called Because We're All Married to AT&T Executives. She's also not that into politics herself. She skipped voting in most California elections when she was living there and didn't vote in two national primaries, even though she and her husband are big political donors. Furina says she, quote, really didn't think my vote mattered because I didn't have a direct line of sight for my vote to a result. In other words, it's just better to buy candidates, darling. Ah. I see demon sheep. So what are Fiorina's qualifications? She was once named the most powerful woman by Fortune magazine, but later her name was floated as one of the worst CEOs of all time. That's because during her six years at HP, she laid off 30,000 people and the company's stock lost half its value. But she got a $40 million severance package. Now that's an American dream even the constipated cherub can get behind. Fiorina is robotic, unreliable, ineffective, not unlike an HP printer. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Demon Sheep, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it, I just, what are you? Or maybe he's been more himself than ever. Yes, yes, he danced.